Welcome to Music with Mrs. Avery. Hello everyone. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to analyze line notes and space notes that are mixed up all together on the treble clef staff. So, here is our example today. You will see that there are three different notes that we are going to look at. Some of them are line notes and some of them are space notes. Here are the steps that we are going to take in order to analyze these notes. Let's look at the steps. First, we're gonna look at the note that we want to analyze. We're gonna look at the note that we need to figure out what letter is that note. We're gonna ask ourselves, is it a line note or a space note? Then second, we're gonna ask ourselves which number line or space is that note on? Remember, we always count the staff from the bottom to the top. Then third, we're gonna ask ourselves which strategy should I use? Should I use my line note strategy, empty garbage before dad flips? Or should I use my space note strategy, the word face, F-A-C-E. Then step four, using your hand and using the correct strategy, you're gonna count and determine the letter name of the note. So let's try the first one together. So here is note number one. So let's see, we're gonna look at that note. Is it a line note or a space note? Go ahead and yell it out at me. You're right, it's a line note. We see the line going directly through the center of the head. Great job. Next, which number line or space is the note on? Remember, we count from the bottom to the top. So looking here, which line is this note drawn on? Line one, that's correct. One, two, three, four, five. So line one, yes. And which strategy should I use? Well, we know it's a line note, so we need to use our line note strategy, our sentence, empty garbage before dad flips. So in step four, we're gonna use our hand in the correct strategy. We're gonna count and determine the letter name of the note. So here we go, hands out. Remember, our note is on line one, so let's find line one, one. Now let's say our sentence, go. Empty, garbage, before, dad, flips. Well, which word did we say on line one? Empty, that's right, so this note is an E. Excellent. And remember to label the notes with capital letters. All right, friends, let's try this second note. So we're gonna go back to step one. We're looking at that note. Is it a line note or a space note? Just because that head is colored in doesn't mean we can't figure this one out. You have to look at the placement of that note. Is the line going through the center or is that note head in a space? So yell it out, is this a line note or a space note? You're right, it's a line note. Well, which number line or space is that note on? Let's count together, ready? One, two, three, four, line four. All right, which strategy should I use? Well, you told me it was a line note, so we're gonna use our sentence again. Empty, garbage, book four. Dad flips, and step four, using our hand in the correct strategy, we're gonna count and determine that letter name of the note, so here we go. We are counting to line four this time already, and one, two, three, four. Now let's say our sentence, ready, and empty, garbage, before, dad flips, 
What word did we say on line four? Dad, that's right. So this note is a D. Very good. And we have one more to do together today. So let's look at the note. Is it a line note or a space note? Yeah, this one's a space note. Look at the placement of the head. See how it fills up that whole space? This is a space note. Which number, line, or space is the note on? Well, remember we count from the bottom to the top. And we see that it is in space one. Which strategy should I use? Well, this is a space note. So we're gonna use our word face. Remember, face rhymes with space. And this is a space note. So using our hand in the correct strategy, we're gonna count and determine the letter name of the note. So hands out. Remember, we are counting our spaces this time. That's those spaces between our fingers. And we need to figure out the note for space number one, right? One. And we'll spell our word F-A-C-E. Which letter did we say in space one? F. That is correct. So, you can analyze a mixture of line and space notes on the Trouble Club staff, but you have to follow these steps, okay? Make sure you're always looking at the note is it a line note or a space note? That's the first thing you have to figure out. Then the second thing, which number line or space is that note on? Then the third, which strategy should I use? Remember, for our line notes, we use the sentence. And for our space notes, we use the word. And step four, using your hand. That's why we've learned how to count and analyze using our hand. And the correct strategy will count and determine the letter name of the note. Remember to always label the notes with capital letters. For your assignment in Google Classroom, you are going to complete the Google slide and analyze the song, Mary Had a Little Lamb. When you click into the Google slide, you will see the entire song. And you will see that it's a mix of line notes and space notes. So you are going to follow these four steps and analyze each note in that song and determine the letter name of it. At the top of the Google slide, you will see all of the letters of the music alphabet. So once you have identified one of the letter names of a note, you can find it at the top, click it and drag it down into the music and place it right underneath the note, just like we write them when we are uh, writing them underneath of a note, you'll just click it and drag it in the Google slide. Now, be sure to follow these four steps. These four steps are going to help you be successful with this assignment. Take your time. Make sure that you are determining if it's a line or a space note first, which number line or space the note is on, figure out which strategy you should use, and then use your hand, count, and use that strategy to help you determine the letter name of the note. Then remember, you'll find it at the top, you'll click on it, and you'll drag it into the music. Now, I'm going to give you a hint. There are only four pitches in this entire song. So you're really only going to use four of the letters in the music alphabet. And these pitches repeat over and over in the song. So look for that. Look for those patterns and look for those notes that look the same in the song to help you as you analyze. Take your time, make sure that you follow the steps and I can't wait to see your work. Thank you for joining me.